Can I just ask you, Niall, um, I was down at both games um, in the 2011, the drawing game and the replay. The drawing game was gas. Henry had a free to draw it and one of your lads was standing no more than four yards away from him, I'd say. Even, if, right. even if it hadn't gone over, I'd say what well, I got another crack at it. But the, the best club performance, and I've seen Brian Wheelan in particular deliver some yeah. outrageous performance, but the best performance I've ever seen was Owen Larkin's uh, yeah. performance in that replay. I don't remember him like putting a foot wrong, be it missing a pickup, a hook, a block, anything. Can you just talk to me about your memory, Zach? Because I think it was 10 years ago, uh, I think it was last week, the village had a tweet out about it. Right. It was a phenomenal performance. Um, well, to be honest with you, uh, Michael, I, 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 I travel to a lot of, a lot of games. You know, I, I love going to Limerick Club games, uh, Tipperary County Finals, Dublin, Offaly. I've been at many, uh, Clarine and Rhinos final over the years and Borough in particular and obviously Leash. I just love doing that. I've been to many a Kilkenny final and, you know, I just, I'm a hurling man and I just love going to see these games and other club players. And, and that day, I said it after that game, um, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm, I'm watching County Hurling Finals since 1981. I'm 52 years of age and I've, I've been at many, many, many County Finals since, since that time. And without a shadow of a doubt, it was the greatest hurling performance, individual hurling performance that I've ever seen. And I suppose when I, when I read after it, the likes of Nicky English uh, it, after that game and there was marvellous players, past players who, who commented on it that, you know, Owen's performance that day was, was just incredible for, for the type of, you know, the, the attributes that Owen has. You know, it was his feet, his vision, you know, his hands, just incredible hands. All the, the marvellous players down the years are just incredible hands. Like Satija today, Brian Whelan, is, as you just said, one of the most magnificent players ever to play the game. And oh, just brilliant, brilliant hands, great feet, great movement, great vision. The one thing about Larkin was... He was just incredible, as in, I would have always said it, Michael, that all the great scores that that Kilkenny team got in such an important, at such an important stage, nine times out of ten, the last person to give that last pass was Owen Larkin passing it on. If you remember Martin Comerford's goal in 2009, the second goal in this space. Shane remembers minutes, it yeah. well, now. Shane remembers, remembers it, I'm it sure. Well, boy. Yeah, so <laughs> who gave the last pass to Martin Comerford was, was Larkin. You know, he, he, Richie Power in 14 against Galway. You know, he, he's just been there and he's the most unselfish player. And but the surprising thing maybe that a lot of people might know about Ohm was Ohm was just so quiet in himself. You wouldn't know he was in the dressing room. You, you'd actually have to look around and see where he was. And But he's just on his own thing. Meetings or DVD sessions or anything that didn't interest him. Ohm just wanted to play the game. That's just the way he was. And players are like that. You know, and if, if a fellow's like that, well, then you're respected and you let it on because he was able to do the business on the pitch.